what, what the mate is talking about. I want to give you a situation because let, let me preface this first of all by saying that family, if you don't know, and even if you do know, I must give this man his props. Aaron Spears is one of the greatest, what, would you call it in, 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 in impressionist? Is it called impressionist? Either or, impressions, impressionist. Impressionist. Yeah. He is one of the greatest to ever do it. Like Thank when, you, sir. When I say you can close your eyes, and hear this man talk and do when he do impressions, like it would feel like this man is talking. I and mean, this is the person, whoever he's he, he's impressed, he's doing the impression of, that's that person talking. Like that's some good work. I mean, thank you, know, King. Blows my mind, man. I mean, I, mean, I got. Did see, you notice I said King? I, I noticed you, brother. You know, it, it, it. You know how I know you said King. I stand up like a peacock when somebody called me a king. There okay. you go. I, I, you I, go. I just rise, man. I made, it made me want to do something great. Make me want to make me feel good. But I wanna, I wanna throw out some things. I wanna throw out a, a situation. I wanna do something a little different here. I wanna throw out a situation and attach a name to it. And you tell me what that person uh, would do in that situation in that person's voice. I want you to say what that person would do. All right? All right, well, well before you do it, before you do it, uh, um, same situation, but if, if, if right now, because here's the thing, sometimes, you know, uh, when I get my drink and smoke on, it fuck with my voice. So okay. if, if I'll keep the situation, but depending on who the person is, I might swap that person out for somebody else. That's good, that's good. I, okay. I can run with that. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I like, I've always liked this impression, but it made me, uh, when I saw you on DL the other day, it made me, uh, it reminded me that I definitely need to get you to do Paul Mooney. Do Paul, Paul Mooney is giving a commencement speech at Harvard. What does he say? All of you niggas, don't be fooled by these goddamn crackers. All of you niggas will graduate in school but you won't graduate in life. These cops are killing niggas. Goddamn degrees in caps and gowns. White folks are known for wearing caps and gowns. They're called Klan uniforms, nigga. Do not be fooled by these niggas. These niggas don't care about you. All of them are looking at you niggas going, all of these niggas, <laughs> these niggas are going to graduate and we are going to whip their ass. The cops, the judicial system, all of these niggas, you niggas are finished. White folks get scared when they see smart niggas. If a nigga talks intelligently, white folks look at you and go, ah, ah, this nigga's intelligent. Where'd this nigga come from? <laughs> Dude, Willie, let me tell you, man. Willie, Willie, let me tell you. I recently did a thing on Instagram. Oh, man. I, I, I recently <laughs> did a thing on Instagram. Shade Room, 1.6 million. What's uh, there's a brother out of New York. His name is C. King. His, yeah. his Instagram is um, at I am I A M underscore C. King. We did Denzel Washington and Shaq, and then we did Dave Chappelle and Paul Mooney. When yeah. I tell you this brother's Denzel, the coldest you've ever seen. We know I do it. Dean Edwards does it. You I see it? I seen it. I seen him. That seen brother him is him. cold. I know he cold. Yeah, he cold. But I still want you to do this. I was just, I still want to, I, this is one of my favorites. I still. I still oh my God. Okay, okay. So Denzel is a cop in New York City. He is given the task of keeping the peace during the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, look. All right, everybody's got the coronavirus. Everybody's got it. Everybody's going through it. Everybody's hurt. You must stand in line 
and take your time with the toilet paper. All right, we all need to wipe our ass. That's what you're telling me. You got to wipe your ass. That's what you're telling me. I got to wipe my ass. My daughter has to wipe her ass. My wife, my son, we've all got to wipe our ass. Whether you use your hand or a sock or whether you use paper towels. Paper towels got rib. They're like rib. They're like rib condoms. They feel good when they wipe against your crack. I know what I'm talking about. Huh? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Willie! Okay, okay. One more, one more, and then you can right. take it from there. Shaq teaching a classroom of fifth graders about geography. <laughs> Woo. Uh, <laughs> let me address them. I don't know much about geography, but I know a lot about math in terms of my numbers. As long as I get 28 10, I'm going to dominate. That was always in my numbers. When I play the paint, Kobe got to pass me the ball. Derek Fisher got to pass me the ball. If I get 28 10, I'm going to dominate. I don't know what geometry is. That shit is confusing to me. But I know if you look at it like basketball terms, when I dominate big man, once I do the drop step, I do a little sky hook, that's when I dominate. I hit the boys. I'm Shaq Diesel. That's when I'm going to dominate. Man, what does what does what does what does Shaq think about that, man? Cause you spot on with it. I I know you, you have to speak uh, with Shaq about this before, right? He loves it. He right? absolutely loves it. Yeah, dude. I, Shaq's been on Mad TV twice. Yeah. Uh, of course, he called me to do the first Shaq's All Star Comedy Jam. Right. Shaq loves me. He's one of my biggest fans. I remember one time I did a show, and this is when he was with the Miami Heat. I did a show in Florida, and uh, in Miami. And I was doing my show in Coconut Grove. And then we drove to South Beach after the show to go hang out. And as I was going into the club, Shaq was coming out. And Shaq seen me and I went, Diesel, what's up, baby? So we slapped hands. And before he left, he was like, hey man, make sure you make fun of me on Mad TV. I love <laughs> when you make fun of me, man. Don't nobody fuck with me like you fuck with me. You gotta, you gotta make fun of me, all right? So he loves it, man. He loves it. Shaq, that's my dude, dog. That's my yeah, dude. man. Yeah, that's that's funny as hell, man. Thank and, you. and 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 do a do a bonus. Like give give us give us one, you know, out of your hat. Oh shoot. Uh damn, damn, damn. Um damn. You really put me on the spot. Okay, uh, give me give me a Cosby question. A Bill Cosby question? Yeah. Uh how about uh Bill, Bill Cosby, uh Bill. Look, we need to know if you just, if you did it, just tell us the truth and we'll let you out. You know, Willie D, I came along at a time when men in the seventies did what they wanted to do. Did I quaalude the bitches? Maybe I did a little bit. It was a cocktail, it was a harmless time. I was trying to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. So a lot of people get sensitive, but I'm running things in the prison. I want you to know every day we have Salisbury steak, we have the mashed potatoes, and for dessert, we have pudding. The prisoners love it. That's right, they gave me a nickname. They call me PP. And you say, what does PP stand for? Pudding pop, nigga. Yes, no. There we go. Excellent, baby boy. Excellent. Excellent. Appreciate you, Excellent. man. What, what, what the haters talking about?